right? New York Assembly have sent this out across the world. They started this Occupy movement and this is their message to all of us. As we gather together to express a feeling of mass injustice, we must not lose sight of what brought us together. We meet so that all people who have been wronged by the corporate forces of the world can know that we are your allies. As one people united, we acknowledge the reality that the future of the human race requires the cooperation of its members, that our system must protect our rights, and upon corruption of that system, it is up to the individuals to protect their own rights and that of their neighbours. Democratic governments derive their just power from the people, but corporations do not seek consent to extract wealth from the people and the earth, and that no true democracy is attainable when the process is determined by economic power. We come to you at a time where corporations which place profit over people, self-interest over justice and oppression over equality run our governance. We have peacefully assembled here as is our right to let these facts be known. They have, bailout, they have taken bailouts from taxpayers with impunity and continue to give executives incredible bonuses. They have perpetuated inequality and discrimination based on age, the colour of one's skin, sex, gender identity and sexual orientation. They have poisoned the food supply through negligence and undermined the farming system through monopolisation. They have profited off the torture, confinement and cruel treatment of countless animals and actively hidden these practices. They have continuously sought to strip employees have the right to negotiate for better pay and safer working conditions. They've held students hostage with tens of thousands of dollars of debt on education, which is itself a human right. They have consistently outsourced labour and used that outsourcing as leverage to cut workers' health care and pay. They have influenced courts to achieve the same rights as people, but with none of the culpability and responsibility. They have spent millions of dollars on legal teams, which look at ways to get them out of contracts in regards to health insurance. They have sold our privacy as a commodity. They have used the military and police force to prevent freedom of the press. They have deliberately declined to recall faulty products, endangering lives in pursuit of profit. They determine economic policy despite the catastrophic results their policies have produced and continue to produce. They have donated large sums of money to the politicians who are responsible for regulating them. They continue to block alternate forms of energy to keep us dependent on oil. They continue to block gene generic forms of medicine that could save people's lives or provide relief in order to protect investors that have already turned substantial profits. They have pur purposely covered up oil spills, accidents, faulty bookkeeping and inactive ingredients in pursuit of their profits. They have purposely kept the people misinformed and fearful through their control of the media. They have perpetuated corporate colonialism at home and abroad. They participated in the torture and murder of innocent civilians overseas. They continue to create weapons of mass destruction in order to receive government contracts. To the people of the world, we, the New York City General Assembly, occupying Wall Street and Liberty Square, urge you to assert your power, exercise your right to peacefully assemble, occupy public space, create a process to address the problems that we face, and generate solutions accessible to everyone. To all groups that take action, and take action in the spirit of democracy, we offer support, documentation, and all the resources at our disposal. Join us and make your voices heard. Yeah! have a very short speech about the action happening on November 30th. That's in the, the United Kingdom. There will be a strike on the 30th of November and we urge you all to support it. This is a crisis caused by the rich and the faceless corporations and they expect us to pay for it. Like many millions around the world, we are saying no to this injustice and are demanding a truly democratic society where people matter more than profit. In just the last two days, another two unions, the Educational Institute of Scotland and Unison, have announced their intention for strike action on November 30th, and we urge you all to support this action. Our teachers, our hospital staff, and even our police officers should not see their jobs cut and for those that are left to work longer, earn less and retire later. The people did not cause this crisis. The public sector did not cause this crisis. It was the banks and the corporations, those same banks who gladly took massive bailouts from the public sector that they now demand must be cut. We are not just one group in Glasgow. We are part of a worldwide movement for change, and we will be the change we want to see.